so today is March the 28th, 2013, and today was Bria's newest MRI, so we wanted to share the results real quick. Um, so this is the lesion on her brain. You can only see a little tiny bit of it right here. We already went through a bunch of the images, and her lesion is really deep, so you, if you go down in the MRI images, which is basically slices going deeper and deeper into the brain, um, views deeper and deeper into the brain, you can see that her lesion starts to show up right there. I don't know if it can show it on this camera, but if we keep going, you'll see how it will start to get a little bit bigger. You can see it here where it's just a little bit larger of an area right there. And here it is right here. And then if we go one more, this is a great picture that we've been taking lately. Um, and comparing these each time she gets an MRI. And before, the lesion used to be all the way out into here, and you can still see just a little bit of it right there, that it's all gone. This part right here is just really, really stubborn, and it doesn't seem to be disappearing as quickly as we hoped that it would or wished that it would, and hopefully that will heal and the myelin will still regenerate right there and heal right there, um, but so far that is basically the most stubborn area. So if we keep going on these images through the brain, you can see the different areas where it starts to go away. And then on the side view that we have, you can see how long it is in terms of the length from a side view that'll start showing up any minute now right about up in this area. Right there you can see where it started to show up and now it's really showing up right here. It's really far back right here. Her last relapse is when that started to show up and you can see that it's still there and it's really far back. We're not sure if there's anything on the brain stem or not. We can't really tell from the, or the spinal cord, we can't tell from those images, but you can tell from this that it's still there. It's still pretty good size, but you can see where it's, the shades right here are not as white, which is where the, the myelin is regrowing back, and we're hoping that the doctor um, has really, you know, good news for us. And it doesn't look like they're active lesions. It, from what we can see from all the other MRIs we've looked at over the last year with the doctor, um, it doesn't look like it's lighting up, like it's active at the moment. So that's really good news, too. So we just wanted to share that with you. This is Bria's lesion about, what, 16 months? 16 months. Yeah, 16 months after her onset. And uh, so we're hopeful that the next one in six months is going to show this even smaller. Bye. Bye.